uh, daughter, but that's, it's fantastic. Uh, so thank you to my mother-in-law for posting that and giving that to me. <laughs> next up, I'd like to introduce Marvin Abrinica, who's going to talk about our next company. Hello. Good evening. How's everyone? Good. S some awesome pitches, right? Like, give them a hand so far. That's awesome. Um, So I'm Marvin Abrinica, and I'm excited to uh, introduce uh, the monetizer tonight. Um, th these guys, I, I met them in a bar, okay? It, it, it sounds like a joke, but it's, it's not. Um, a, a friend of mine said, hey, you should really talk to these guys. They're, they're really, like, really talented group of Latvians. And so, so I meet uh, Martins and Andres in this bar, and they're like, uh, you know, we are monetizer. <laughs> <laughs> and we create, we create product that makes money from game. And I'm like, that's like the most literal name for a, a startup. It's like monetizer, right? And I'm like, okay, th that's cool, you know? It's like, but so, so I'm like, all right, who plays games anymore, right? And these guys are like, well, shit ton of people play games, <laughs> right? Like, shit ton of people. You know that 1.2 billion people play games? Well, 750 million people play games online. These guys understand their market better than most. And they realize that when games are played, that when people uh, develop games, I should say, when people, when, when these game developers uh, develop a game, there's a really short shelf life of a game. Right? It only lasts a few months. And so these game developers need to make a shit ton of money in that short time frame. And these guys figured out a way to do that. And uh, I was really impressed with them. I said, okay, well, cool. You know, why don't you come down to my office and meet me? And I like to do this test with entrepreneurs. I say, hey, why don't you meet me at my office at 8 a.m.? <laughs> and so uh, these guys said, all right, well, yeah, sure. We'll meet you at 8 a.m. So they came, they showed up, and they got to work. And they showed up every other week at 8 a.m., and they kept doing it until this week. These guys really understand what it means to work hard as an entrepreneur. And uh, like Martins and Reynas and Andres, what you'll find, these three guys worked in a print company in Latvia together, and they were creating products for this print company. They launched several websites for this print company. They were making money for this print company, and they decided to leave and come here and start this company. So I am really excited about what these guys are doing, and I'll let, I won't steal their thunder, okay, but I'll, I'll let them tell you how they're going to make a shit ton of money. So, <laughs> Martins, why don't you come on out here and let me introduce you to my good friend, Martins. I don't need this, actually. I don't need this, actually. Hey, guys. I have a quick question for you guys. How many of you guys ha know what Pokemon Go is? Please raise your hands. Have you heard of it? You know, know someone who played? Awesome. So most of us know. And now let me ask you. How many of you guys have played it, have actually played it in the last month? Okay, we have a few people. Awesome, we have one loyal gamer here in the first row. Um, good thing I have prepared for this because I have prepared an awesome uh, Pokemon shirt for you. Here you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> I am Martins, the founder of The Monetizer. We enable gaming companies to create and sell their own merchandise products in mobile games. This is Nick. He is a gamer, and there's more than one billion other guys just like him in the world. I'm very sure that each one of us know a few Nicks. This can be your son, your daughter, your friend, your neighbor. This can be anyone. The problem, however, is that the games that Nick plays, they don't last very long. Only 13% of all games last more than three months, which means that these companies behind these games have a very limited time to make money before the game flames out. So most of these companies use advertising as a way to make money, but guys like Nick, they hate advertising. And to be honest, advertising is not great for the gaming companies either because it doesn't make much money for them. And if your window of success is so short, you don't want low returns. You want to maximize your opportunity, right? That's when we thought that there must be a better way to monetize games. And that's why we created the monetizer. 
The monetizer is a reward and monetization system for games. So once users play games and reach certain achievements in the game, on that moment, the monetizer technology will offer real life tangible merchandise products with game graphics and game characters. Let me show you how it works. This is Hatchet. It's a game made right here in Ohio. And you know Nick, he loves Hatchet. He plays it every single day. But today, today is no ordinary day. Because today, Nick reached a new high score. He's super excited, so, so happy about his achievement. And because of his achievement, the monetizer unlocked an exclusive Hatchet phone case, just for Nick, just because of his achievement. Our seamless payment technology enabled Nick to play, pay with one simple tap, and a few days later, he received his phone case. <laughs> now, the thing that the, Nick doesn't know is that it wasn't Hatchet that sent him the phone case. Behind the scenes, the monetizer's automated fulfillment technology received the order, uh, chose the closest and cheapest manufacturing to Nick's location, and made sure that the product is manufactured, packaged, and shipped to Nick. Now, the value that the monetizer provides is that we make gamers happy. We turn their digital experiences, digital moments of success, into physical products that they love. And for the gaming companies, we make up to 14 times more revenue than video advertising. We work with these gaming companies as partners, and we share our profits 50-50 between us and the gaming company. And on the fulfillment side, we work with a network of manufacturers all around the world. Why merchandising? Because we know that it works. Just, if you think about Star Wars, it started out as a movie, and then it was turned into this $32 billion merchandising business. It's really amazing. In the gaming industry, Angry Birds is doing this really well too. But when they started with their own merchandising, for them it was very hard, very long, and very expensive to do. And that's when we, on, the, on this moment, we th thought that there must be a better way to monetize games, right? And that's why we created the monetizer to enable any game developer to do the same thing that Angry Birds is doing with zero risk and zero investment. Now to make sure that this is a painkiller, not just a nice to have solution, we reached out to some big guys in the industry, like Tim from Tune. Tune is a mobile marketing agency and they work with all the major game brands out there. And Tim loves what we're doing. We're also very close with the local gaming community and Brandon from International Game Developers, Developers Association, he says that the monetizer brings a direct value to the game developer community. And to be honest, the game com developer community has been a huge help for us too, because by going to local meetups, conferences, and events, we have managed to get 22 companies committed to use the monetizer in the next games. And this number just keeps growing, which is really cool. Business model? The market is super huge. In 2016, the mobile game advertising market was $21 billion, and we can 14x that. How? With our amazing team, of course. <laughs> uh, we have all, we, all of us have done st successful startups before, and we know the merchandising industry inside out. And with the monetizer, we are combining our experience in merchandising, IT, marketing and sales, and we're helping game developers to monetize their games in a better way. And today, I am very excited to announce that we only s uh, did our first product sale uh, less than a month ago, and we have already sold more than 250 products. And Hatchet, of course. Hatchet is the first big game with over 10,000 downloads live on the app stores with the monetizer. So let's all go to the app stores, download Hatchet, and start unlocking exclusive products today. My name is Martins from The Monetizer. Uh, we thank you so much for your attention. We have a booth upstairs, so let's talk then. And we're gonna be the guys in these blue monetizer shirts. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs>
But my job up here right now is to introduce the next presenter. It's iReport Source. iReport is a mobile workplace safety platform. It deals in the OSHA, Department of Labor, workers' comp industries. Now, if you don't think that's sexy, you're in the majority. Nobody thinks that's sexy. <laughs> but pay attention as Christy weaves her story into what I believe will be just about the largest market opportunity you'll ever see. Please welcome Christy Brown. Thank you. You got it. Yeah. So before I get started, um, I have just a couple of thank yous. I want to thank Uptech and all of my mentors. You know who you are, the ones who dropped everything or worked late nights with me, I am so grateful. Uh, Jordan, who's our CTO, thank you for taking everything out of here and actually figuring out how to make that a tangible product. And to my kids who are in the back, they're teenagers, and I hope that everything you're seeing tonight inspires you to reach for the stars. I'm about to take you on a journey of workplace safety. For employers, it's expensive, time-consuming, and it's full of compliance and regulation. But for an employee, an unsafe work environment can be catastrophic.